Hey, what's up? It's Mike Icy, and today we're gonna go over the rear shocks replacement on a W212 E350 Mercedes. I will go through the tools and the parts you'll need, what's involved, and an infield video, okay? So first off, I'm gonna show you how the shock is mounted to the body. Yep, just two 13 millimeter uh, nuts, and the shock is only mounted on the bottom by one uh, bolt that's an E16 uh, head with a 16 millimeter nut. Okay, so you might be wondering what's involved, right? What do I need to do to get to those bolts? Okay, so you need to do about, so you have to undo a plastic cover that's on the bottom of the suspension arm. You have to remove the wheel well liner and you have to remove a few interior panels, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so the, the trim piece with the yellow arrow to it, not all cars will have that because um, only cars with rear folding seats have that piece of trim. And I know it looks like a lot of trim pieces, but it's not that much. Or what you should do is you should dive in there and start undoing all the clips for the side panels. That way, once you remove the, the center panels, you don't have to go in there and dig in over all those computers and everything else that's below those panels. Um, so anyway, right now I'm gonna show you uh, how all the fasteners for the rear panels, the side panels. Okay, to remove this, I'll show you where all the clips are. So first you go inside. There's gonna be one right here. One right here, these are just the clips. You'll have to undo this one. Then we go over here, one more here. Then this one right here. Then, then you've got a 10 millimeter right there. 220 torques there. Pull out this light bulb and unplug it. And then, um, Remember when you're removing it and installing it, there is a, a little metal clip right there that the panel should go under. Okay, at this point, you have your sen uh, side panels loosened, right? All the fasteners are gone, but before you can remove them, you have to remove all the central panels in the middle. So we'll go into that right now. So the first thing you'll wanna do is just completely remove this. Yours still might be attached by the two clips there. And then you'll have to remove that plastic, this, and then finally, okay, this panel, you just pull out like that and work your way around. So you loosen this one. Okay, for this panel, you just need to undo those, those two right there. Okay, so once you undo those two, there's three little like C things there. So you just need to lift a little bit up here and push forward. Once you do that,
Okay, that was like, what, like five minutes and we already have the panels all the way off. So now we have to do, we have to remove the wheel, the fender liner, And then we have to remove the panel over the suspension arm. Okay, so now you've got everything ready. Now it's now you can access the lower and the upper bolts. The way I did it is I just loosened the bottom, uh, the nut off, I left the bolt in, I went on top, I removed the two 13 millimeter nuts, and then I removed the assembly. way you should remove the mount is there's a special tool which uh, the bit goes in there, locks it, and then you can undo it. I don't have the special tools, so I'll show you the way I did it, but it's not recommended. You should not do it that way. Uh, you should always use this sp special tool if you can, or just have it done at the dealership. Okay, now all you have to do is make sure that you torque that nut to the MB specifications, and next, it's time to put it back in the car. Not, not quite. Too late. <laughs> How to rotate it. 
to pull it up. Up? Up and down. Yes. There you go. See? There we go. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Obviously, after that, you have to put everything back together. You need to torque everything that needs to be torqued and uh, put all the panels back. It's really not that bad. These are the tools you'll need a 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 16 millimeter, 17 millimeter, a T20 Torx for the interior panel, a T25 Torx for the wheel liner, uh, an E16, a screwdriver or plastic pry bar to remove the clips, and a special tool to remove the mount and put it back on. And of course the parts you'll need are two shocks. They don't look like this. They look like this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already.